So, Brendan, I mean, really, you, you know, like you said, you come over work and you, you don't have hot water. Does that, does that mean there's a serious problem with this? And we talked a little bit about the vapor sensor, which is a fantastic safety feature. Um, but ha how does the pilot and the system sort of work in this? Well, actually, this type of unit here doesn't actually have a standard pilot like a lot of homeowners might be familiar with what they may have had in their system at home or homes that they lived in prior to a new home. And this has what they call a hot surface igniter. It's a lot like a furnace. Um, it's all electronic and it isn't really any homeowner replaceable parts on this unit. Um, it, it has, like I said, this LED status light and it will give you a flash code which you can actually read right on the side of the unit here which can help our technicians diagnose what the problem is before they get to your house. Great, so I mean really there's, there's no reason to come, you know, from dad, for dad to come down here with the lighter from the grill to say I'm going to get it going, honey? Exactly. Okay, right. so really at the end of the day, I mean, the, the place to go obviously like we talked about is to make sure the power's on, make sure the gas is on, check this system, and then there's this LED system which will tell you, will tell you a lot about what's going on inside the machine. That's correct. It's amazing now our cars are all computerized, everything's computerized, now even our hot water heaters are computerized. That's exactly it's right. such a simple sort of, uh, uh, you know, machine and yet it's got a computer in it. So, um, what, what's, some of the, what's some of the pertinent information if somebody calls you, I mean, a lot of times it's say how many gallons this hot water heater is, and some, what's some of the information that somebody can get by reading the stickers and such? Yeah, the Bradford White and all, all of your manufacturers will put a sticker on here which is going to contain who manufactured the unit, what year was manufactured, uh, the model number and the serial number of the unit, which is also helpful if you do have a problem you have to call a technician. That's helpful information that the homeowner can give uh, someone if they have to come out uh, so they kind of know what they're getting into when they get out there. Also, it has the safety uh, ANSI numbers on here uh, for production for requirements. Okay, so Brent, I noticed that there's uh, there's two stickers on here. There's this Energy Star sticker, and I think over here there's this uh, yellow sticker that talks about the sort of how much it costs to operate this hot water heater on an annual basis. Can can you talk a little bit about those uh, components? Sure. Energy Star is a rating that is given to the water heaters, and if it maintains a 64% efficient rating, it will earn the Energy Star rating, which basically tells you that. Your water heater is not the old standard water heater that's going to use more energy and gas and that you've gotten up into this higher efficient model. Um, the energy guide on the side is basically a way that people can compare this unit to other units and it takes an average gas cost or fuel cost and compares it to other units and sees how it, see how it stacks up with other uh, units out there. So this one says $285. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I understand that there's a lot of factors. Myself, I have you know four kids, and I probably probably wouldn't cost $285 in my household. But under normal circumstances, maybe a family of two, whatever the case may be, whatever their assumptions were, you can assume that this thing would be roughly around that sort of annually to run. Yeah, that's correct. And basically, what you want to do is you want to take their they have a rating of how much they're paying for a therm of gas is what they're rating this with. And compared to what you're paying, and that would give you a good idea of what your actual operating costs would be. Good, great.